Hillary Clinton's team had hoped this would be its memorable moment on the trail today. A Clinton and a Gore on stage in Florida. The old band back together. Instead, Clinton's campaign found itself fighting allegations and answering for thousands of private emails sent to and from its chair, John Podesta, that were hacked and published by WikiLeaks. Today, a new cache of those emails appeared to show at least conversations and what opponents call collusions between the campaign and the Department of Justice. In one email, Clinton's press secretary, Brian Fallon, a former DOJ spokesman, appears to receive and pass along information from inside the Justice Department about a court brief related to Clinton's emails that had just been filed. The campaign said the filings were public record and pivoted the storyline to stress that the hacks are illegal. But today, Donald Trump's team called it collusion, which calls into question the entire investigation into a private server. Tonight, as Clinton opponents sift through thousands of hacked emails, Clinton's campaign is focused on picking up support, using Al Gore to sell the idea that every vote counts. Take it from me, it was a very close election. Elections have consequences. Your vote counts. Your vote has consequences. I offer my concession. The Sunshine State ended Gore's presidential aspirations in 2000 when the Supreme Court halted a recount, leaving him 537 votes shy of beating Bush. Since then, he's made preaching against climate change his mission, an issue Clinton's team believes could help motivate millennials. When it comes to the most urgent issue facing our country and the world, the choice in this election is extremely clear. Hillary Clinton will make solving the climate crisis a top national priority.